what do you use to make the initial cuts? Okay, the, there's two ways of doing this. The original ways to do the cuts is uh, uh, they would have cut the piece off with a uh, would have been with a uh, small uh, uh, an apprentice, probably uh, five six years old. They would have taken a piece of uh, a stone like that, and the saw they had then would have been basically easy way to describe it was a, a flat tin candle, just flat metal. Coming up against it, and they would drip a slurry of uh, powdered ruby out. Okay. Diamond, depending on which story you want to go with, diamond was uh, not prevalent, but it was more expensive to get even at that time. So crushed ruby, there's good ruby, and there's junk ruby, and they would power, uh, crush it, and then basically the master would sit there with something and sift off the hard stuff, the rough, away from the fine powder. And then of course keep it. Uh, the original stones they would cut, I'll show you on, on to duplicate, you can't find the machines anymore. So basically what has happened now, this is a dying art. Very dying because it's not happening anymore. Um, because it takes uh, too much time to do this. There's only 77,000 of us still floating around doing this. You're talking about doing it without um, <coughs> power, power machine. Power machine. Okay. Well, even even with power equipment, there's only 77,000 of us. Yeah. yeah, because they're also going CNC, going computer control. Oh, and so the computer does the whole thing. Yeah, computer. I want to read that, but I want to watch what you're doing. Yep. Well, what I'm doing now. This is one I played with at 12th night last week, uh, since I had nothing to do. <laughs> now, this, is, this would have been the next generation of um, what I'm doing is this little plate has got holes in it which allows me to uh, change my, uh, um, I'll let you look and you can take a look at it. You can see on the back side of it, you'll see the, uh, there's holes in there and that allows me to align each facet. Um, that would have been uh, uh, the second generation. The first generation would have been uh, a little rougher uh, because you had to line up every facet when you started out by hand. So that one I've already roughed out roughly. Uh, these are uh, uncharged copper plates. Use copper plates at that period of time and same today is because diamond or ruby, or sapphire or whatever you're using, I say ruby or sapphire, it's usually about nine in hardness. So it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. I'm playing here, this is the cheater way. Normally we used a uh, uh, other way of doing this was to take a block of, uh, of hard wood, mahogany, something super hard, and boil it three or four weeks in beeswax. And then scrape it off, and they would make, get it, I'm going to say flat, please accept the word flat, because their term flat and our term flat is not the same. Um, so now, Set this back up to zero. So all of, so there's numbers on all of those little holes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm in the middle row. So you're not, you're, you're on this row? Mm hmm Okay, so you're on the innermost. I'm on the innermost row. Nothing I've got here is anything you could actually purchase, by the way. This is all stuff that uh, you can actually get on the market. So this looks like it's just a little adjustable. Uh, used in the hospital, actually, for about 20 bucks. Nope. 
what do you use to affix the stone to the... Okay. Uh, um, the the old way of doing it was to... Um, you use pine pitch or a mixture of something. I say something because we don't know what they used. It was a closed guild. It still is a closed guild there. Um, today we use stick shellac and you put uh, a stone you get one side uh, uh, flat somehow I broke right. it not the first time okay. yeah. I wanted to see if it bent it doesn't oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it uh, doesn't like heat but it's extremely strong in many aspects so I just warm it up and put it back together Big sorry deal. that's okay <laughs> saves the fall so basically, you get one piece, and uh, uh, you take a raw piece of anything. Mm -hmm. um, or, uh, in this case, it would be a, a raw stone. And uh, an apprentice would take it up to a grinding mill and uh, hold it and get a flat, a flat part on it. So it's nice and flat. This is the fancy version, but the, the uh, modern ones haven't changed either. The wooden ones are the same thing. They, they tried to, if you're, if this stick with a stone when you go to change is off like this, your eye, your, your, your vision is now gone. It's now, you're, you're going to lose all your uh, flash of the stone. So it's got to be perfect. That's the biggest problem with doing this is the fact when you do it, you can spend 20, 30 hours getting the one part done, spend another 20, 30 hours getting the other half done, take it off, and it's a piece of scrap because you've misaligned it. Uh, it's like any other art. So what, you, what happens is when you're doing stones is, um, put this in place, put this here. Okay, so you put the pointy end in that. And then I would take a candle with the, with the wax and drip the shellac all the way around here to make it nice uh, uh, equivalent to epoxy bond uh, to uh, hold that alignment there. Okay, now I've got that all done and I'm going to cut this side or another side. You do the same thing, you bring that up, then put shellac on one side. Now this side's already glued. How are you going to take it off? You heat it up again? Yep, you never get it toward the stone, you heat up this bar. Both the shellac and all the adhesives hate heat. They absolutely hate. Today, what we use is super glue. <laughs> super glue is very strong, but it also has very lousy heat characteristics. So I can put that on there a few drops. Uh, this is a special accelerator, and that'll just freeze it in microseconds. Lock. But then when I'm ready, I have uh, little toys, micro butane torch. And all I would do is heat back here, and it'll heat the metal here, but it won't affect the stone. And then pretty soon, of course, you, you loosen this up. And I can put my finger here, heat it, and pretty soon this will just fall away. Okay, you let it sit there for a while. The, the uh, uh, super glue hardens back up, and you're, uh, uh, you just chip it off, and you're ready to grind. Yeah. 